So, babe, how far now? How is the body now? Can um, I get water? I'm not even sick. I mean, at least not health wise. The thing about it is, my, my husband and I have been fighting again. Uh -uh. Why? Uh, he says that I'm not being the ideal housewife, you know, and I've got to work. Uh -uh. Yeah. How ideal housewife? I don't understand. I don't know. He just says that the house is filthy, that the bathroom, the kitchen, that everywhere. And, and girl, I've even suggested that we get a maid to do this work because I have to go to work. No, and he no, says no. No, 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 no. Forget housemates. Chick, me and you, we know what's how far now with housemates. You know what they do these days, huh? What I will suggest for you is to get a house manager. Now we know Kimi. <laughs> house manager. <laughs> Which will be house manager now? Eh? Simple. <laughs> okay. Listen, I'll wait now. How about yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. House managers. Yeah. Yeah. These are corporate bodies. You get you bring them to your home to clean, maintain your house, do all the blah 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 shit, you understand? And then you pay them off. Professionally, you just are not with brother, sister, this, that, that, my husband's, whatever. Uh -uh. Okay, okay, darling. Do you have any idea where you get, you know, sister to not Let me think. I think so. Guess what? Uh, I will. I'll, I'll fix an appointment for us to meet with this person. <laughs> Thank you. Fantastic. You're darling. <laughs> yeah, darling. Thank you. I'm sure my husband will love that idea. He will. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Okay. Yes. I'll fix it. Okay. So what's up now? You don't look sick to me. Can you say that again? I don't know why you're still eating yourself up over what happened. Sylvia, as long as I've agreed to take the mess you and your mom put me into. <laughs> See, my mom and I did not do anything. Okay, just forget about it, then let's talk about the future, okay? So there is no future, can't you see? There is no future at all. Eventually, I'm going to lose it to that so-called Pascal. It's just clear, it's clear. If you don't want to lose me, baby, hmm? you have to look for money for our grand wedding. And before you go, you rent a duplex for me where I'm going to be staying while you're away. For sure, I'm going to look for the money for our wedding. But you could still manage with my uncle till I come back. Eh? Manage with who? My uncle. That your uncle that doesn't like me. Hi! Richard, it's today that I know you don't like me. Hey, go for be back Baby, uh, there's something I want to discuss with you. Listen. Baby, come on. You know, when you traveled a day before you traveled to Abuja, I was promoted to the post of the branch manager. And you know that's hey, I hey, 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 look, I don't want to hear it. Baby. I have discussed the problem that we're facing in this marriage um, with a colleague of mine. And just like you, she's also of the opinion that we do not, you know, employ a living maid. And she gave us a better suggestion. What? Baby, she said that we could, you know, employ like, um, like a house manager, a matured, educated house manager. We could just like run the house like two to three times a week. You know, just during the day, not a living maid, darling. It's very obvious. You've made up your mind to have someone run this house, then quit your job. Suit yourself, Vivian. Come on, darling. But your opinion is also really important. You like the idea, don't you? Yes, I do. Then go ahead, implement it. Okay, baby, that means that we have to, um, like, you know, advertise and... Uh, Vivian. I don't want to be part of it. Look, if you want to advertise, go ahead and advertise, okay? Interview whoever, employ whoever you deem fit for the job. After all, it's your job the person is coming to do, not mine. 
So it's your call, my wife. It's okay, Richard. I saw it coming and I warned you, but you never listened to me. You don't need to cry. You have to pull yourself together. This is the time for you to start rebuilding what she destroyed in your life. Where do I start from? If I go looking for another job, who will employ me? What a bad reputation Sylvia led me into. Who? She did not take away your life. And don't forget the old saying, once there is life, there is hope. Hope? Where is the hope? I believe in miracles. And I'm sure you believe too. Richard, pull yourself together. You have to live your life. And the best way to do it is to forget that Sylvia ever exists. Wake up and live your life. Yeah. I don't get it. Why would she be the overseer and I get to be the cleaner? Besides, I am the one who is related to you. That is the point. It is for this same reason of our being related that I am making you the cleaner for this particular job. I am too close to Vivian. I do not want her to think I am taking advantage of her. She doesn't even have the idea that I own a company. Besides, she is the graduate. This one you want us to do housemaid works? Point of correction. The word is corporate house managers. Okay? As it is, I am the one footing practically all the bills in this house. I think it's high time you two contributed. Do you have a problem with that? Come. How much are they even paying, sir? Enough. Enough to foot some bills in this house. Enough to provide legitimate work. For the both of you. Why do I have to be the cleaner? Why? I seriously do not accept this arrangement. I don't. See, the house we are going to work, is it that they have rich young men there? I beg, I beg, I beg, just catch a break there. You hear? This one, a job, practically business. See, all work now, work now. Business now, business. That business they go do now. Eh, uh, just catch a break. I don't tell you finish. The truth. The truth is, I don't know the first thing about running a house. So I'll be needing your expertise to run this house for me. Oh, it's okay, madam. I want you to be rest assured that you have no problems. You know, we are specialists in this business. And I want you to meet um, Sylvia Achibong. Mm -hmm. She will oversee the business, the day-to-day -day business in this house. And then Juliet over here will assist her. So tell me, how is this done? Do you stay in or do I provide somewhere to... Oh no, madam. We shall come like, say, twice in a week. Yes. And then we shall be on call for emergencies. Oh. That's nice. Now, I understand you had a housemaid. Yes, I had house helps. But uh, my husband said that they're all useless. And he blames me for not supervising them. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Madam, just relax. Hmm? We are here for you. Thank you so much. Good. Um, <clears throat> sorry. 
We, are, we are want to assure you that um, this house will get fixed in no time. Perfect. Are you okay? I'm okay. Thank you so much for helping. Thank you. Uh, nice meeting you. So, um, how many houses have you supervised? Have you? Why must you talk? Are you okay? Are you a fool? Shut up! You're doing this again, I don't like it. My friend, I don't I'm, like it. I'm a graduate. Eh? If you talk too much, eh, you, you meet your things outside. That what I do. Eh? Why can't you put the water on the car and wash it like a human being? Why are you always behaving like someone? What? In the what? Bush? Huh? What? What is what? My friend, watch that car. Hey! Hey! What's hey? If I'm talking, so you. If I talk now, you talk ten. If I talk one, you talk ten because you think you can talk back at me. Abby? Eh? You don't know I'm a graduate. You don't know. You're a graduate. Yes. Graduate my dear. So you think because you're a graduate you can talk to me anyhow, Abby? How better are you than me? How? We have more differences between both of us. Yes. I am a graduate. You are a freaking stupid undergraduate. So I order you to wash this car. I tell you whatever I want you to do in this house is what you will do. Or else. Or you will run as in before you know it, I will throw your things out of this compound. You know me. You know what I can do. So do whatever I ask you to do. If not, you will hear it from me. Stop it. Stop what? Stop it. You are mad. Stop it. You are really getting on mad. my nerves and I don't like it. Stop it. Yeah, wash it. What's your problem? What's you wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You are very stupid. Very, very stupid. If I'm talking, you're talking. Come and wash it. Look under this place. Come and wash it. It's very dirty. Bend down and wash it, my friend. Are you stupid? It's not true, I'm respectful. It's not true, I'm respectful. Stand there. Yeah. Stand. Stand. Don't go down me. I will slap you. Slap me now. Slap me. Don't slap me. Slap me. Slap me now. Don't slap me. Slap me. Slap me. I don't blame you. Because I'm wearing this thing, huh? After all, the clothes befits you. So, you are only doing your job, so um, I don't know. I don't know why you're getting upset, right? Just do what I ask you to do, yeah. Yeah, I graduate, yeah? Good day, sir. Yeah, um... Good day. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Um, were you about going out? Yes. Um, the dry cleaner just called me that the clothes I gave to them the other day is ready. So I'm going over to pick them up. All right. Um, what about the house? Are you done with that too? Yes. Um, the food is actually ready and it's on the dining table. 
All right. Um, so I'll see you when you get back, huh? Okay. She just poses around day and night, and when we complain, she tells us that she's our supervisor. <sighs> well, as long as I do not agree with her sitting around and doing nothing, you girls have to endure. She is a superior for God's sake. No, yes. I don't accept. How could you take preference to her because she's your classmate? Why? Rita, I have told you before, she is not just my classmate. She has a degree. So? Okay, you girls do not have a degree. That's the reason I made her your superior. As long as you people do not have one, I'll keep giving her the preferences. I'll be waiting there inside. But sister, since you are getting new clients and employing new people, why don't you transfer us to another place and allow her to supervise those you have employed? It's okay. Okay? It's okay. I'm going to do something about it. But you girls have to promise me something. What? From now on, no troubles. No troubles. Fine. But if you look for my trouble, I will give her. You see, Rita? Show you see yourself She's now. The one giving Let her oh. oh. Good day, ma. It hurts. You're still here? No, um, I just noticed some of the things in the kitchen. I finished, so I stayed back to collect some money from you so I can get them tomorrow when I'm coming. Oh, okay, no, darling. You should have just asked my husband to give you the money. <sighs> I thought that wouldn't be a good idea for you. No, darling. That's your job you're doing. Anyway, where is he? Um, he's not yet back. Okay, that's true. He said he had a party to attend today, a birthday party or so. Anyway, girl, it's um past nine, so I don't think you can go nights pretty late, so... You can stay over and tomorrow you get the money and get the grocery stuff, okay? I... Don't, don't worry, come on. It's okay, you're like a friend right now, you can stay over, no problem. Okay, well, it's just that I don't have my nightwear. I should have spares and, okay, your size, let me see. Um, I think I should have something that will fit you. Okay, so come on, let me go for something for you to change it. Besides, I need the company and everything. I'll be here waiting for my house and the room. Come on. Uh, it was bad for the mm. time. Yes, yes, but no, no, no. I didn't have my woman by my side. Uh, I was the old mm, man now. Be sincere apologies. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, darling. I'll make it up to you. I will. You promise? Yes, baby. Yeah, I promise. I promise. Oh, promise. Yeah. promise. <laughs> Good evening, sir. I I just came to show you the clue. Nice, go. Baby, yeah, that's the house. The house manager, the housekeeper, the, the girl that takes care of our stuff. And, um, no, I why? told her to stay over because it was too late for her to go home and stop. Security, darling. Security. Mm -hmm. Never mind, Joe. Okay. You need to go inside. Come on. Let's yeah. go to the room. Come on. Come on. How come you didn't tell me she was staying over? Hey, look what girl is here. What are you doing here? And why didn't you knock? I'm sorry. I actually came to tell you that your food is ready. Nice party. Tell me, is it because I am living in this house or what? My dear, 
That has nothing to do with it. The fact is you are not being fair to Richard. Richard is my boyfriend here, not yours. So it's none of your business. But sister, it's true. Bra Richard was here some days ago shedding tears like a baby. My friend, shut up your mouth because it's not my fault that Richard is not buoyant enough to take care of me. Okay? He's not man enough, so it's none of my business. Babes, I hope you realize that whatever goes around comes around. This way you're treating this guy like this. If he gets to treat you back, hope you're ready for it. Tell me, how is it your business? Eh? Where do you consign you inside? I don't tell you to make you know they put mat for my matter. I've told you time without number. What is your business now? You know, Sylvia, I am leaving Vivian and Nelly's house to you. Okay? I'm going to transfer Rita and Julia to another house. Are you okay with that now? meeting is actually the first high profile meeting that I will be attending as the chief executive manager and also the first meeting with the American businessman and you know what that means yeah no baby <laughs> <laughs> you know I just I just can't wait to wrap it up and just seal that contract <laughs> uh, seriously yeah. like are you nervous like you sound like you Nervous? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Hell no, baby. Are you sure? Ah, oh, nah, you Not know nervous? me. I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me, tell me. Mm, how do I look? Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. You look uh, irresistible. You look perfect. I mean, I am so lucky. And fat. <laughs> of course, you look fat. <laughs> <laughs> you look fat. Yeah, baby. <laughs> You know, what's the, I think you should go to work. You know, I can do this all day. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry, I'm very, very sorry. It's just that, um, please, if you may permit me for the kind of function you said you are attending today, that tie is off color. Yeah, you know, the say, if you want success you look successful but if you may permit me please i want to change him into something else um <laughs> uh, okay tell me what do you know about fashion i know a lot about fashion i don't know just permit me just give me only one minute to do what i've got to do <laughs> okay <laughs> Wait, so you know, I, I think she has a point. Anything for the contract, baby. Let, let's just give, let's just give her a chance. All right, uh, I've got a couple of these things there. Just, just, no, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Pick up anyone. Let's see. Uh, okay, just okay. do your thing, all right. This. Yeah, 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 baby. Yeah, baby, just hurry up, okay? You're running late. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I know. I know. Uh, oh, 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 uh, wait, wait. You know, I, I think I'll just wear this one. What are you still doing in my house? Sylvia, I, I, I still love you. What is happening between both of us is not good for us. Sylvia, marriage is for better, for worse. Marriage is for better, for worse. For better, for me, yes. For worst, I am not part of it, okay? But see, tell me, how much do you even have in that your 
account that. Every time you keep telling me you love me, this, you want to do this, you want to do that. I, I, I have 12,000 naira now, but um, ju ju just 12,000 naira for now. 12,000 naira, you are a fool, idiot, that's what you are. You want to use 12,000 naira to take care of me, eh? As far as I am. S I, I, I'm still searching for a job and I'm sure I'm going to get one. I know I'll get one. With the excellent record you had in your last job. Sylvia, what I did in my last job, I did it because of you. You are, you are an idiot. Did I put the pistol on your head to steal from your boss? You did that willingly. I never put a pistol on your head. Okay? okay. So. Okay, Sylvia. I didn't do did it because of you. I did it because of me. I, I, in fact, I just wanted to impress the world. I, 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 I'm really sorry. It's not because of you. Please. I don't want to see you anywhere in my compound again. I wouldn't want to go in and come out and still meet you here. You're a bad egg. A thief. I cannot marry a thief. Sylvia, what did you just call me? You're a thief. Are you not a thief? Onyoshi. That's what you are. Me, Richard, a thief. In my household, I'll deal with you, this boy. Go. What happened to you? S Sylvia. Sylvia? You mean that girl entered this compound and did this to you? No, I, I went to her house. You did what? I, I, I went to see if I could talk to her so she could come back into my life. Will you shut up, you useless boy? You mean after all she did to you, you went back to her house? You have disappointed me. It, it, it might sound silly to you, but I really love her uncle. Richard, you are a man without honor. You are a shame to this family. You are visionless. No direction. You are completely stupid. Please, get out of my sight. You disgust me. I say out of my sight! Look at... You are very, very stupid and useless. Completely useless. Hey, oh my God. Look, I said I don't want tea. Take it away. No. Hey, come back here. Um, tell my driver to get my computer from the car. Jesus Christ. No, no. Is this gold? God! 
these are millions of naira worth of gold. Sylvia, this is a great opportunity of a lifetime you have been looking for. Get the hell out of here with this and it's goodbye to poverty. With the proceeds you will make from selling them, you can go anywhere of your choice. Anywhere you want, you can have the kind of life you want. You can attract any man of your choice and do the other ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing with my wife's jewelry? stealing from us, right? No, no. I'm yeah, that's what you're doing. You actually came to this house to steal. No, I'm, I'm sorry. You're sorry. I'll tell you when you'll be sorry. After the police come and get you. Came here to steal. I don't condone such rubbish stealing in my house. Absolute nonsense. calling in the police go to enjoy this what's, what's the meaning of this look look hey hey look we, we don't look we don't we don't we don't we don't need to stop stop it oh. Oh. Ouch. you are one sexual experience you know Hmm. That's so nice hearing that from you. Is it? Yeah. So, tell me, why did you try stealing Vivian's jewelry? Mm -hmm. mm. Money. You see, I actually need money to sort out my problems. Mm. Anyways. I'm sorry, so tell me, are you gonna help me out? Hmm? In exchange for what? Sex, anytime you want it. I will give it to you. Really? Yeah. Well, I want one now, huh? Hmm. Not too fast. Come on, babe, take it easy. If you want another one, that means you'll be paying for it. Hmm. How much? 30,000 naira. Alright, I'll give you the money. Just for one round. One round? Mm. Oh, not so fast. Come on. I want it in check. Why? I say I don't like carrying cash around. Okay, uh... You get the check, huh? Okay. Yeah. Always keep a checkbook in the house. Very heavy. So it's um uh, thirty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty thousand. Is your surname still? Yeah, Silver Achibong. Achibong. Yeah. yeah. of event. It's almost unbelievable. 30,000 Naira? Check for just a round of sex. Who's? 
truly there is no limit to what a pretty woman can get with what she has in between her legs. Alvis, oh, why not? After all, his wife has been such a thorn in my ass. Like Vivian, she is never around and alive to her duties as a wife. And that makes her husband my toy to play with too. Fact is that I have discovered a gold mine and I will never stop digging, not anytime soon. <laughs> um, sweetie, guess what? What? My father called to say that um, he'll be getting yet another title in the kingdom and he wants me to come over for the preparation. <sighs> Nelly, for God's sake, you are now someone's wife. I mean, if your father wants you to do anything for him, he should consult me first, not you. I'm his daughter, not you, baby. What? He just wants me to just come over and just be with him during the process. Uh, is anything wrong with that? <gasps> Look, Nelly, I know the tremendous contribution that your father made in my life, but the fact remains that I am legally married to you, all right? So I demand some respect. I ain't no being too melodramatic about this whole oh, thing. You can't take my freaking foot. I have my honor. You talk about honor. Huh? Honor. Listen to me, darling. A man without money in his pocket has no honor. My father gave you all the money and all the affluence, and that gave you honor. Oh, really? Yes. All right, fine. You can sit there and mumble all that bullshit and insult me all you want, but the point is, your father has to consult me first, and that is final. Mm -hmm. Sweetie, I'll be leaving your house before 8 a.m. tomorrow. Try stopping me, and my lawyers will hand you the divorce papers. And you know what that means. It means that whatever you got from my father will be taken away from you. I just want you to just take a moment and think about this. Think about your life before you met me. And you make a choice. Have a nice day. Um, Richard, I know you hate me for this. No, no matter how I feel something for you, my heart still belongs to, to Sylvia. Richard, um, I like you as a friend and your happiness is what matters to me. I know I am never spoken ill against Sylvia, except the fact that I don't like Rishma treat you. Look, one thing I understand is, no matter how you love someone, just let the person go. But if the person is meant for you, it's going to come back to you. Hi, Richard. Let me ask you if I mean it. What are you up to this time? How what game mean? are you trying to play? What are you talking about? Oh, please. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? That guy you were seated with is serious. Oh, guy. please. We are just having a decent conversation. Period. Are you just me? What? Jesus. Mean what? What are you thinking? What? Rita, leave that guy alone. Not for your own guy. What's what wrong with it? you? What's wrong with you? I you're just having a decent conversation. He's oh. my friend. I can't believe you're just a beauty without You brains. know what? Believe whatever you want to believe. Richard is my friend, period. Leave that guy alone. Leave him alone. No, don't say I do not want... Ah, idiots. You disgust me. Oh, 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 oh. oh um, I'm sorry, sir. I, I'm sorry for my dressing. I actually came to work with my white girl, and I didn't want it to get stained. That's why I'm wearing this. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, well, um, that uh, that 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 still doesn't explain why you should 
be dressed like this. Oh, believe me, I'm sorry. I thought maybe she might like it. That's why. I'm... Uh, um, Sylvia, Sylvia, this is a married couple's house, right? So that means you should apply some decency in whatever you do here. Okay, I, I won't forget that. It's just that I thought maybe you would like it. Uh, please. I will forget that. Yeah, just now. Uh, 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 did you tell her I was, I, I was in? No, I told her that you went out. All right, what are you looking at? Get, get, get out, get out, get out from me. Wow, that was one route you want, babe. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Because it's going to cost you more. I don't understand. Yeah, darling. What we just did is raw. Skin to skin, without condoms. That's what I mean. All right. All right. <sighs> yeah. You know what, um, why don't I pay you some more money, you know, let's say about 600000 so that um, our lovemaking would just be a phone call away. Hmm. Darling, your pocket is my command. about to take a shower? No, I, I'm just coming to work and I was beaten by me. Oh, yo, Colin. Okay. I, sorry, I just want to help you. Oh. You like what you see? Oh, Jesus. Oh, please. Hey, what's wrong? Huh? So tell me, what am I getting in your time? 
Like what? You check off the time there. Ah. Uh. Alright, fine, you get it. Mm -mm. Give it to me first. Hey, hey I just told you. You're mm -mm. gonna get it. I, I want it first. Oh, I got... Ah. Ah. Alright, alright. I'm sorry to inconvenience you by my presence, but I came here to inform you that I won the visa appeal. So, what? Sylvia, I still love you. Are you mocking me? Um, no. How can I mock the love of my life? Sylvia, my uncle is insisting that I get married before I travel. But how can I be married to a woman I don't know nor love? Sylvia, you have been the only woman in my life. The only woman I have ever known. Sylvia, I want you to come back to my life, please. Sylvia, come back to my life and marry me. Deep down in my heart, I know we're meant to be together. Please, Sylvia. Richard, right now, I have a lot on my head. Why not come back in the evening? I have to think. Sylvia, let's just... 